In this video, we will be discussing the Machine Analyzer tool. We will cover what it is, why it should be used, and how to use it. What is Machine Analyzer? Machine Analyzer is a tool within JD Link that allows you, the user, to see your machines and metrics of your choice. Why should you use it? This tool has many benefits. It allows you to recognize a need for fleet expansion. It helps recognize issues with machines and operators and helps you identify outliers with the machines. Understanding the metrics of your customers' machines will help you provide them with the products and services they need. Being able to show customers information about their fleet in a fast and easy way will help add value to their business and yours. So how do you use Machine Analyzer? Machine Analyzer can be accessed through either JD Link Dashboard or Operations Center. In the top right, click Organization Selection to choose which organization you wish to view. To get to Machine Analyzer, click on the waffle icon in the top left of the screen and scroll down to Machine Analyzer. The panel on the left will be your source to bring up any new information in this tool. The first selection is under View. You have the choice to view preset views such as CNF performance, DEF usage, and many others. Alternatively, you can create custom views of metrics. To create a custom view, choose Edit Views. On the first page, you must name the view you are creating. When choosing the metrics you want to see, you can scroll through the list or search for keywords in the top right corner. To choose your desired metrics, simply click the checkbox to the left of the choice. To see more options, click the arrow to the right. These subsections allow the view to be customized to more detailed views within the metric. It is important when choosing metrics to view, you should choose the industry that applies to your machines, whether it be CNF or agriculture, in order to avoid viewing unpopulated fields. Click Next to continue to the second page. On this page, you can customize the view of the metrics. You can toggle between hiding and showing bar graphs for the information, as well as customizing the order the information appears. To do so, just drag the icon on the right to arrange the view. When you're happy with the settings, click Save to create a new view. If at any point you wish to delete the view, click the X in the top right prior to saving, or click the Delete icon under Edit Views. Moving down the panel, the next section is Group By. From here, you can toggle between viewing the metrics by machine type or by organization. Under machine type, you will need to expand each category to view individual machines. When grouped by organization, all machines will appear individually. The next section is date range and is customizable to your needs. You can choose the dates you need the metrics for or choose a preset range such as this month, this year, rolling 12 months. The next category is machine type. To include a machine type, simply click the box next to the machine you want to include. Notice, depending on the number of machines in your organization, loading time could be delayed. The last category of the machine analyzer panel is machine filter. To view all currently enrolled machines, choose active. To view machines that no longer have a JD Link subscription, choose inactive. Ultimate data of inactive machines will be lost if transferred to an organization. Once you are finished choosing what you want to view, you are ready to look at the information. All the information is filtered by the views you selected in the left panel and can be altered at any point. Most of the machines show a numerical value for the category as well as a bar graph. As you expand the machine type, the solid green line represents the average of all models. If you expand further into individual machines, the dotted line will represent the average of individual machines, allowing you to compare and benchmark the average of all the machines. Machine Analyzer offers the option to export the information as an Excel, PDF, or PDF ready to print. To do so, just click Export in the top left side of the screen. 